ready then. So, next on the list of uh, shit that's got to get worked on. Um, it is the middle of summertime, and uh, if you'll notice, I don't have a mechanical fan anymore because my bearing shot out. And I deleted it, which I have a video on if you'd like to check out. But um, after running on the, the beach um, a couple nights ago, it um, the engine actually overheated. That's the first time it's overheated in the current situation that I've had. Um, this thing with the new radiator and the new water pump and the whole cooling system flushed out and everything, it, uh, it was doing really good. So um, that was the first time it actually overheated, but that's because the, the truck was running at 2,500 RPM. And um, it, it, was a, it was a decent little trip, probably a half mile. So uh, yeah, after, after that, the, uh, the engine was just getting way too hot. The, uh, the coolant was actually starting to bubble out of here. That's how, how uh, hot it was getting. It was, it was about 260. It didn't go any higher than that, which is cool. But um, yeah, I'm gonna do some dual electrics and I'm gonna do it really cheap. And uh, hopefully this does something useful. So if you notice, I got the stock uh, regular fan over there with the flat blades, not the curvy, fancy, Taurus, fast pulley fan. And uh, that's been doing pretty good. Driving around the, the street and even like mild off-roading, thing does great. Thing never overheats. But uh, for those extreme cases, when I do need cooling, uh, I'm going to do a dual electric setup. So this is my friend's. Uh, he's, get, he's got a Renex Jeep as well. And uh, he upgraded his fan doesn't need his old one. So, fuck it. Let's just throw it in there. Now he clipped the connector. So I'll have to do a um, little connection of my own. So uh, I got these little fucking things that I'm just going to use. Gets the job done. And that way if I need to remove the fan, I can. Which I do quite a lot on that side if I have to adjust the tension on the belt or anything. But, um... If you look at the radiator, you got a, a little mounting foot area there, and one over here as well. But um, this one's too far, and it's a little too close to the uh, the line. But it did have a uh, a hole drilled out, so if you could find a fan that would fit, you don't have to do any work. But um, for this one, I'm going to mount it on the other ear, and uh, the this fan both both legs don't fit in those ears. This one has a wider gap than that one for some reason, but uh. If you look over here, I just, um, I drilled a little hole, and then I got one of those clips that go on there, so you can just screw it in there. I just put the fan in there, measured where I needed to, put a little marker. I took this whole thing out. I couldn't, I couldn't get a hole drilled, so I just took this whole thing out. It's only a couple bolts. Got one, two, three over here, the three over there, and then I like to take this other metal bracket out with it, just because all the star bolts kind of suck, but most of mine are broke anyway. This one just spins, the other one are broke. That's the only one that actually stays there, so I had to take that one off. But yeah, drill the hole, put the clip in there, and now the fan goes in. So uh, I'm going to run some longer wires on this and uh, hook it up to the uh, the stock setup. It's going to be really simple, but I figure people like to see this stuff, so I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so here's the dual electric fan. I kind of skipped the whole in-between stuff, and here it is done. So wiring right here. I have dual splices that go into the original wiring so both fans are connected to the same circuit. They're both controlled with that relay so they both turn on and turn off at the same time. So this one's back to stock and I have the new wiring, the white and black, come over here with some quick disconnect connectors and then that new fan is sitting with one leg in there and the other one screwed in underneath. So they work pretty good. So hopefully that helps with cooling a little bit. So there you go, quick and dirty dual electrics. There you go, dual fans running. Runs pretty good. I like it. Definitely cools a lot better than it did before. I took it down the beach for like, uh, I don't know, anywhere from half a mile to three quarters of a mile, something like that, there and back. The first time I did that, the gauge was all the way up in the 260 mark and the, uh, the coolant was starting to uh, evaporate out of the expansion bottle. And this time when I went on there, it barely... I, actually, I don't even think it crossed the, the third tick, the tick between 210 and 260. It's doing great. So those dual fans definitely help keel, uh, keep it a lot cooler. So Yeah, even for shit fans, going dual electric will definitely help a lot. And uh, just driving around cools this thing down pretty fast, so I think it does the job pretty good. Amp draw is not too bad, didn't burn the relay out, so 
I call this one a success. Enjoy your duelies.